Here are the two variants of Ultimate Captain America. Next up, after clearing my Wolverine collection, it's time to clear the Captain America figures. Here are the two variants of early Hasbro 2-pack Winter Soldier and the more recent Winter Soldier. I'm definitely keeping these two because they really look good even though the articulation isn't that great but I'm also going to keep the new Winter Soldier. This is the difference between the two pack. The Red Star is when he was still a villain and this one was when he became one of the good guys. Look at the head sculpt. The early Hasbro head really looks so much better than the newer one. But unfortunately, if you were to swap the heads, they wouldn't look good because this head would look small on the new Winter Soldier body. There, the new head does kind of work on the old body, but the old head doesn't work on the new body. Painting out the eyes really does make him look more friendly. <laughs> and also, the guns that the new figure comes with is really soft. Look at that. Both the rifle and the handgun as well. But anyways, I'm going to keep all three of them. Here are the two variants of Steve Rogers from the Terex BAF Wave. One of them has a clear shield and the other is the normal solid color shield. And everything about them is the same. They have the same head sculpt and the same gun, the same body mold. But the main difference being that it has a different shade of brown for both of them. The clear shield variant has a lighter brown. And also, the overall paintwork of the figure is actually black. But the normal shield version actually has kind of a blue hue or a bluish tint to it. Here's a closer look at the shield. It's really clear plastic. Uh, I really feel like keeping both but I think I will just keep the clear shield variant because I can just use any of the other normal shield to go with him as well. So I'm going to let this go and keep the sh clear shield variant. Here's the OG Bucky Cap and the earlier version of US Agent. I've not gotten hold of the new US Agent so I'm going to hang on to this for the time being and we definitely need an update for Bucky Cap. This one actually looks good with the blue being shiny on his upper torso. Here's how the shield looks like. The head sculpt between these two is actually different. I'm going to keep both of these for now. Here's the two variants of Ultimate Captain America and the two variants of Face Off Captain America. The shield for this Captain America is really not in good condition. <laughs> the main difference between the two Ultimate Captain Americas is that one of them has a plain mask and the other has the small wings and straps on the mask. As you guys know, this Face Off Cap has been the Captain America figure for the longest time. Even though I feel the proportions of the figure is really quite bad, his shoulder muscles are overly big and his body really arcs back quite a lot. And to me, the new 80th anniversary Captain America and the new Captain America figure has the best classic appearance. So I'm gonna let go of all four of these. Here's the Onslaught Wave Captain America and the Retro Wave Captain America. This one has a more modern look with this shade of blue and also having no scales on the torso. And this one has a more retro look with the brighter blue and also scales. Painted though, not sculpted. I'm going to let go of both of them. Here are two Hasbro versions of Ultimate Captain America and Marvel Now Captain America. I don't really like the body mold of the Ultimate Captain America figure. It's similar to the Steve Rogers figure. I'm probably gonna keep one of them. The shield on this one is chrome red which looks really good. And really, so much straps for the Ultimate Captain America figures. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping Marvel Now Cap and I want to keep one of these two Ultimate Cap but I'm not sure which one is more comic accurate so I'm gonna keep both for now. Oh look, I have a spare clear shield from Steve Rogers. <laughs> here's the pile that I'm keeping and here's the pile that I'm letting go and I think for now, it's about 50-50. <laughs> here's the one that I'm letting go, the Toy Biz Captain America figures. These two older versions of Hasbro Captain America and the Steve Rogers Normal Shield variant. And here are the ones that I am keeping. All of the Bucky Barnes figures 
Marvel now cap, US agent for now until I get the new one, the clear shield Steve Rogers variant, and the two ultimate Captain America, but I'm probably gonna let go of one of them once I've decided which ultimate version I want to keep. Thanks for watching, which one of these Captain America or Winter Soldier figures which you are not likely to ever let go? Do share it in the comments below. Next up that I'm going to clear is some of my X-Men collection. Do check it out once I've posted it. In the meantime, check out some of my reviews and other videos over here.